So now I'm over here and uh, I'm at the table. And while I'm at the table, I figure I get some ideas and I share it with you. Just talk some board games, you know. So, something I was thinking about small games. I just got these small games for uh, they call it Matchbox Collection. So they're like nice and small and tiny. And I've been falling in love with these little small games because uh, usually I'll go to the cafe and play some games, you know. And it's straight up the road, well, maybe three blocks down. And the grabbing the skateboard and jumping on it. That's, that's kind of close. So you carry all these games and you're hosting and you start to slim down what you can take. So it's so much easier to carry a small game. You know, I like these. These are nice. Uh, Dominia uh, games brought to you by uh, Japanese games. They just put it in English, but I like these games. You know, it doesn't seem that much, but I kind of like the art. So tiny and small, and they come with another box you can put it in, you know, and it makes it so much easier because it's like a little combo. Let's just put that in there. You know, get three games that doesn't take too much space, so you can use this for game night itself. And now I have these that just came in, and it comes in a little travel box. It makes like a little travel. Box, you know, like that. I even got the little extra um, parts with the the mat, you know, and they give you a travel little cutie, you know. And the mats are inside. Look at that. Looking forward to that when they start, you know, to go somewhere. So right there, this is what like five games there, and it's three games, and I don't take that much space. But at the same time, I would still carry some of the major games, you know, they ask for it or they want to play it that night. Sometimes what I'll do is actually take the main components out or something because they don't take too much space already. Like, there's a lot of air in the box. So, something like Azul. Okay. This is the, the more recent one. Yeah? The first one. All I do is I just carry this. Get one little sleeve, you get all that. Look at that. Just, yeah, get ink this way. That's it. You know. Look how much space that is. This is a newer one, but look at that. That's it. So I'm not carrying that much. Oh. Those things matter. That means I can carry more games be a lot lighter and not this big bulk around me you know just straight to the table can play and sometimes especially when you're meeting up with the group sometimes that's uh, different people come or you know they don't they like certain games more than other games sometimes you like playing certain games with certain people more because it just works with it, you know. It just gels with those those people. You know. Some people might not like other certain games. Maybe I'll bring a kind of like a player versus player, and I'll play with my cousin before uh, two players before the group comes in. You know, I'll just have fun. Would play um, Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Point. That was that was fun. That's definitely fun. That's, I like that. And then when they will play some when the bigger group comes in and then more people come and then depending you might play something new or something uh, something that we usually like playing already. So, depends. Even Seven Wonders I kinda end up making a <laughs> have it in such a small little box and cut it down. It fits in the expansion. You know what I mean? It fits in the expansion box. The whole box fits in the expansion box. You know? How much space is that? I think where I put it now. <laughs> so easy to grab. Oh yeah. 
King of Tokyo, I'll just put it in an expansion box. Seven Wonders. Just put it in an expansion box. You know what I mean? I doubled up because I this the expansion, the core game with the two expansions, and I actually have the extra expansion with those extra player boards, and they all fit in here. So yeah, and we play this a lot, so it's so much easier just to put in a small box and fit more games. But if you just, I feel like you end up playing the core game a lot more. I don't touch the other ones. I think we play a little bit more the city. Or I figure play that the, the leaders, but it's not who knows. But again, if you just get the core game, you can just look at that. I mean, you just fit it all in there. If I didn't have the extra player board stuff, then I, I would just fit it in one box. But, you know. but anyway, yeah. So there's a lot of uh, I like I like the small games. I have to really like the small games. But you know, small games can get lost too. Yeah, you know, it's like be too tiny on the on the shelf. You know, put it away. It just gets lost in that sense. But when you take it down to the group and you play it, and you have it in a bag, oh my God, they're like they're you know they're blessing in that sense. So, hey, I actually finished this. Let's off of it. See this little box, the matchbox. This one's called Space Launch. Look at that. Bam! That's it. That's how small. You know what I mean? Oh, there's tiny ones over here. There's another one over here. Look at that. Doesn't take too much space. I don't like this too. <laughs> so small. Again, I feel like they do. It might get lost on the shelf, but when you take it to the. take it out and travel, oh, they're, they're, they're awesome. They're really good. So. Okay, you guys take it easy. You guys take care. See ya.